Hey guys, Wally Renee here from the Mod Institute. Um, I'm so thrilled that the original retainer video that I did took off like crazy. And then Baron posted an update. He's a brilliant man. Um, he was using tube handles. I had showed a week earlier how to use tube handles for a Maryland bridge video that I posted um, where I was connecting the wing to the Ponic using tube handles. Um, and so he updated a video showing tube handles because many of you responded that, hey, I like it, but I don't like that the, the in, embrasure is touching the um, the tooth there. And so, um, but one of the issues that I've noticed, um, in the past few weeks is a lot of y'all have been reaching out to me, I would say 50 or more from Facebook groups saying that they're having issues with the tube handles twisting and uh, not connecting and, um, all sorts of little things. Tube handles are phenomenal, but I think they might complicate things just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an update. That original video I did was two minute long video between patients. I was rushing. Um, it was supposed to be just a quick thing. I didn't know that it was going to be um, so popular and that uh, y'all were going to be asking so many more questions. So let me update my original video to um, make it a little bit slower and, and show you kind of um, how easy this really is without kind of getting into um, a lot of detail. So um, again, if you if you remember uh, the original video, I'm going to do it in real time here because you could see it's a 30 second. It's less than 30 seconds to create these and you could train your team members to do it. The original technique was I, you know, I was, I was in here, I went to select, uh, I made my brush size uh, right around 20, somewhere in the 20s, and I literally just drew a quick little wire, and how thick they are depends on your material properties, and then I made some retention elements here, and then I went and hit B as in boy to smooth border, hit enter to accept, I went ahead and hit um, Y as in yellow to separate that out. Control A as in select all, D as in dog to extrude it, make sure it's on constant, and I selected point 0.8, accept. Okay, and so kind of in a nutshell, that was the, the video. And then what I, what I did additionally to that is I went in here, and if I turn off my model, um, I went in here and selected just that mesh on the outside and went to deform smooth, and you could smooth it as much as you want without messing up with the fit. And so then many people responded, yeah, that's cool, but um, I don't like that it goes in the embrasures, especially when you have uh, rotated teeth, which um, many times we do, we're trying to retain somebody where, where they are. And you didn't like that you didn't have stops. Well, that's a super easy equation to solve. Uh, Baron did it in a different way than, than what I would do. Um, he, he used a very cool, uh, creative way that I think works uh, really well in many situations, especially for like things like ponics and, and Maryland bridges. And so um, let me show you kind of a way to combat that. Rem remember, this takes 20 seconds. Um, so let me just delete, uh, go to my little objects browser here and delete. And let's go back to the original here. Oh, let me delete that. I'll bring in the new uh, folder here. And here it is. It, uh, this program takes ply or STL. Okay, so let's let's do this again, solving those problems. Uh, the first problem is the embrasure. So you're just going to go to um, sculpt brushes, bubble smooth, put it on um, about 75% strength, and then your size about 30. And you're just going to come to the embrasure that you want to puff out and just click it, literally five seconds. And however far offset you want the, the bar to be to allow for flossing, you could do that. It should take, it would be a 30 second conversation max to do this whole entire thing. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to go to select. And I usually put my brush size down about 20, uh, somewhere in the lower 20s. And you're, you're going to come in here. Let's make it there. And I'm going to add my bar. Now I'm going to add it right where the puff out area was. And then you're going to add my little retention um, pads like this, depending on what size you want for retention. Now, um, you said, well, cool, but I want a little stop. Well, you could do it, uh, Baron's technique, where you come up here and do it and don't connect it. Or you could just put this on kind of small and just draw in a little stop. You only need three depending on the angulation really depends on if you could do this or not, or, or whether or not, if there's severe undercuts, sometimes you can't do this. You're going to hit B as in boy 
to spoo the border, hit enter to accept. Um, you're gonna hit Y as in yellow to separate that, control A to select the whole thing, D as in dog to extrude it, type in 0.8, type in what you want, okay, and hit accept. Now check this out. I'm gonna come in here and hit select, double click that back surface, and I'm gonna to go to deform, smooth, accept, done. Okay, so now those pads, those bars are not in the embrasure. So if I import back the original model, I have space here, right in here for cleansability. And you could do it however much space that you want. Okay, depends on how much you inflate there. Okay, guys. Anyway, I hope this helps. Um, I hope this helps solve some of the issues you all were having. And if not, um, like I said, I'm excited that the community keeps um, improving this technique. I have a few hundred of these in. I've been doing it for about two years, no longer. I can't tell you how long they've lasted. Out of a, out of hundreds of them, I've had three or four break. Um, where they tend to break is right here. Okay. So I see some of you guys doing these tiny little tube handles that are like the thickness of a metal wire. That's not going to work. This is not metal. <laughs> this is resin. Um, use for sprint ray users, use sprint ray crown. It's FDA cleared for permanent bonding in the mouth. Um, desktop health users use um, Flexera Smile Ultra Plus. Um, Nextent users, you can use that Nextent um, crown and bridge material. You can bond that in. Um, Bago. Uh, Verseo Smile Crown Plus works. Um, you could use Rodent Sculpture. You could use um, many different types of Trusana. Uh, I think uh, many, you can't use Onyx. I don't think that's approved for permanent bonding in the mouth, but lots of materials will work here. Remember, don't make these straps too tiny, guys. They'll break. Take it from me from experience. All right, I hope this helps.